Hallo allemaal en welkom bij nog een episode van Irongo Talks. Zoals ouder gewoonte op woensdag kan je ons vanaf ons studio hier bij plaats van meer een zwak op mond. Ons plank via de dienst die we hier getuigen en dan in ons onderhoud segment. Die municipale raad heeft onlangs reeks publieke vergaderings aangebied door die burgemeester, dat is Trevino Forbes, en dan ook die inwoners ingelig op die huidige projecten van die municipaliteit. Zo so, ons brengt dan dit voor jullie in ons onderhoud segment. Zo so, blijf ze blijven ingeschakeld, want ze is nou nog weer terug bij jullie. En nou voor die nies, Hij was bij privaatschool het dinsdag die ambtelijke oompenang van zijn nieuwe hockey astrobaan op die schoolterrein gevierd. Die nieuwe astrobaan met zo so, so wat 6,5 miljoen nummerwiese dollar gekost het, is na Weile Melvin van Rooyen vernoemd. Volgens sy weerde weer Jana, wat ook een van die grootste borgen voor die astrobaan is, het Melvin gegloe om een kinderse leven te bele om hulle te help groei en om hulle toekomst te verseker. Niet het op scholastische vlakke, maar ook op sportvlak, omdat alle kinders met verschillende talenten gezien is. Met hier die unieke astro hockeybaan in die kus voel ons bevoorig dat ons in nalatenskap kan voorzet. In juli 2017 het Christine Smit met my gesel toe die droom van een astro hockeybaan vir Walvis Baai Privaat School. Een maand later is dit waar die eerste saaikie geplant is. Vijf jaar later het die droom waar geword en die eerste astro hockeybaan by die kus is voltooi, het Van Dooyen gesê. Pierre Marai, voorzitter van die Wee en Wabbers bij Privaatschool Raad, het ook tijdens die geleentheid gesê dat projecten soos hierdie individuen op verschillende vlakken ja, op ontwikkel. Dit gee kinders en spelers die geleentheid om zelf uit te druk met elkaar te competeren, vaardigheden en vermoeiens te ontwikkel en om die vaardigheid te ontwikkel om meer te doen en as een span te functioneren. Hij heeft bijgevoegd dat die astrobaan nie net door Wabbers bij Privaatschool zal gebruikt worden, maar ook door andere scholen en hockeyclubs. Tweedens, die, die, die directie van die Fisheries Observers Agency het de aantal kwesties als vals uitgelegd en geskip voor sensatie en reactie op een petitie door die agentskapse werknemers. En die reactie het Innocentia Werde gesê dat die directie en bestuur verstom is die die stelling dat hulle na bewering teen visser, visserij waarnemers en administratieve personeel discrimineer. Hier die directie en bestuur kon die meeste werknemers probleme oplos wat deteer uit sy stichting in 2002. Dit word nie betoos nie dat hier die instelling gekenmerk is die geswak arbeidsverhoudinge met betogings wat in die orde van die dag was. Maar die huidige directie uitvoerende hoof en bestuurspan is voordierend bezig om arbeidsverhoudinge te verstel door verbindenis met die werkers. In teendeel, die directie is verstom die repetitie aangezien dat op lichtsinnige en ongegronde stellings gebaseerd is. Die volledige reactie op die petitie kan op ons webwerk gekry word, dat is by www.irongo.com.na. En dan ten laatste, die Toerisme Expo initiatief dier die mediagroep Namibia Media Holdings nou op grootskaal, word nou op grootskaal dier FMI Namibia en Namibia Breweries Limited ondersteun. As deel van hulle aansienlijke bijdraas financier hierdie twee maatskapie Tourism Cashback kontant bewys het in bedrag van 250.000 Namibiese dollar. Die Toerisme Expo van van jaar vanaf 3 tot 5 november by die SKW Sportgronde in Olympia Plaas. Die drie dagen van uitstellings en interactie tussen rolspelers in die plaatselijke zowel als die streek en internationale toerismebedrijf het ten doel om herleving mee te brengen in die toerismebedrijf wat echt die COVID-19 pandemie beskadig is en steeds een herstelpad probeer navigeer. Dier die bovengenoemde vernootskap is 250.000 Namibiese dollar geoormerk 
om een Tourism Cashback contant bewijzen beleid te worden, wat kwalificerende expo-gangers als bewijzen der waarde van 1000 dollar naar 1000 dollar elk voor contant kan is inwissel als ze hulle bespreek en betaal het voor verblijf en activiteiten wat dier die instellers bij die expo aangebied wordt. Dat wordt reeds als deel van een speciale aanbieding. Koopbewijzen zal gedurende die drie dagen van die expo ingeruild moet worden. Die streven met hierdie initiatief is om contant vloei in die bedrijf aan te spoor, terwijl die reisbedrijf een opstoot krijgt. Maar jullie kan altijd gaan loer daar op ons webverf, dus www.irongo.com.na, dus www.irongo.com.na. Blij alsjeblieft ingeskakel, ons is nou nou weer terug. For news related or advertising queries, contact Irongo Talk at synergy.com.na. Irongo Talk, our community, your news. The Agenda is a weekly national affairs interview program hosted every Sunday by Namibian Sun editor Trayvon Jabela, featuring a panel of high-profile newsmakers, analysts and experts. If you would like to feature your brand or campaign on this platform, contact agenda at synergy.com.na. The Agenda, focus on today's conversation. comes up like frogs when it rains. Only in election when you come up to, 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 to come to your people. We must see each other regularly. Eh? Also, what I've done is the way of Bobby's way. When I came into office, I have adopted the open door policy. But particularly everybody in Bobby's way, regardless of who you are, you are welcome in that office, that is your office. And that message must be sent to all councillors all over the country. You are servants of the people. You were not elected to be bosses, you were put there by these people. These are your bosses sitting here today. They are the ones that put you in that position and you are accountable to these people. That is my message to all councillors, also my fellow councillors. As we are sitting here, here today, we remove the IPC vision, the Swapo Scout, the PDM head, and the LPM, what is it, Sokis, Australia industry. We are not here representing a, a, a political party or affiliation. We are here representing the residents that put us here. Ne? Regardless of who you are, what your political or religious affiliation is, council is representative of all members of this town. And we want to improve on everything we are doing. Now what we have done thus far, I have compiled, we have compiled a few things just to inform you. We want to give you information also. Some people say, ah, these councillors, they've been here for two years, but nothing has been done. So we want to explain a few things to you. You must understand. Only when we understand that we can cooperate and then we can really un uh, understand the processes that we go through as councillors. As in Maklaki, we all thought it was going to be very easy. It's not that easy. So let me start officially. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'm loud enough, Oste. Now, let me bring up the point that everybody here came to listen to. The farm. You know that farm? Farm 37. The one next to farm 36. Okay, farm 37 is a land delivery project that has been coming along since 2015. And to develop it costs a lot of money. For now, we are focusing on two portions, portions 10 and portion 11. These two portions combined will deliver about 677 plots. A plot at pound 37 will cost approximately 60,000 Namibian dollars and can be paid in a period of 15 to 20 years. You can do the math, eh? 15 times 12 times 20 by 60, eh? Council envisions that the first phase of Farm 37 will be completed in the next six months. Okay. 
we have done a lot of work there. We have consulted, we have gone through everything, council has passed resolutions, and we have given it over to our technocrats. You must understand that when council do a resolution, it's a, it's a law, we make a decision. Until the council not mistaken, and from there we give it to the technocrats. We give it to them, and then they are responsible to execute the resolutions made by council. Yeah? So they are the ones who must blame if things are not going fast with us. <laughs> Triple P blocks, that side of Narago. You see, when you come into Narago, there are open spaces there. Those are the triple, we call them the triple P blocks. They consist of four extensions that will yield about 791 airmen. Due to lack of funds, Council has decided to go up an expression of interest to partner up with private sector in order to deliver land more quickly. Because we know that the Council does not have a lot of money, because we don't want to pay our water and our rates and taxes, because that is where the Council's money is coming from. It is important for us to understand all the processes as relevant to our Bobbish Bay. So when we speak, we speak from a place of knowledge. Then we don't uh, just attack and think that the council doesn't want to do their work. Then we understand, oh, it's not so easy. There are certain things that council needs to comply with. Extension 8 in Narago. Council has uh, budgeted to service extension 8 that will provide about 215 airmen. We must also bear in mind, all fish bay is for everyone. Eh? All fish bay is for everyone. Narago is for everyone, who is in is for everyone, the town is for everyone. There is no one thing called for, but we have segregation, but that's the guy's own dust. And then we have extension 3 in Mirsa. Council has budget to service extension 3 in Mirsa and will yield about 86. Airmen. I'm telling you this so you can know how many tents we have to service airmen all around Bombish Bay. Urban Agriculture. Council has also identified seven blocks for urban agriculture. We hope to grow our own food here in Bombish Bay. If you have expertise in agriculture, get your papers ready as long as you work with our community. Or if you are a group in the community of community members, and want to take on this project, you will soon be invited to submit your proposals. So we make land available for agriculture project, projects in Bombish Bay. Okay? That's also to empower our people to, 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 to get money from this project. So if you know a little bit about agriculture, please get your group together. The Edward will come out, I think, by Friday or next week, the Edward will come out, and then you can apply for this project. We do everything here, fishing, agriculture, housing, whatever, we do it here. Then I'm sure a lot of you, you've heard about a project that's called Bakersville. Who have heard of Bakersville? You like any of Bakersville in Okay. You like any okay. But as I've mentioned previously, Council would like to clarify that Bakersville is a private development. And the municipality of Bombish Bay has no part in it. Any queries, questions, or payments should be directed to Bakersville. It must be noted that Bakersville is outside the boundaries of Bombish Bay Council and, is, and Bombish Bay Council is in no position to advertise or encourage those who want to invest in the properties offered by Bakersville. Bakersville. Through my office, I will consult with the other government offices to get clarity on the matter and establish how one person was able to get such a big portion of land. You understand? Bakers were bigger than Wolfish Bay. Yet we are trying to land, but one person is claiming to have land bigger than Wolfish Bay. Where is the fairness and the reason in that? Yeah? Now recently you have seen um, efforts in the newspaper, the Botswana land. In a daily newspaper two weeks ago, it was reported that land was donated to Botswana. We would like to clarify this matter by stating the land in question belongs to Namport and is being leased to Botswana as a dry port on a long term lease. And they are paying a lot of money annually. So it's not that the government donated land. 
to, 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 to Botswana. And also you must understand to whom land belongs. Because a lot of people have been calling me, telling me that why is this council donating land to Botswana while we don't have land for houses? I see on the front here, eh? not the council's uh, land. I almost said it's not the council's ground. <laughs> then there are also some other projects that council are uh, embarking on. Uh, IUM, you know IUM, the International University of Management. Okay? They have applied and they will soon do the groundbreaking to set up a college, a proper one, a big one in Morfish Bay. Then we've also allocated three lands of vocational training centers in Morfish Bay so that our children can go to those centers and uh, educate and train themselves. Here is a Puya project, this is our main site, the main in Sorbia. Half is by so we don't have a vocational training college in this uh, uh, industrial town of ours, which is very, very. Okay? Now your children have to go to Nambu to go and study and come to the market and come work here. Take care of the market to be sent. Then for 20 years or more, Naranga people have been crying for an old age home. They've been begging for an old age home in Naranga. This council approved that land in two months. Why, if we have the power to do something, must we hold on to it? If we have the authority to do certain things, we will do it. Now, one of the other problems in our town is the roads and the infrastructure maintenance. Council have resolved to have an in-house portal repair team. This will enable council to do the repairs and maintenance more quickly, as the procurement process takes too long. We are aware that some of our roads are in a very terrible condition. As it is evident, council is busy with serious road repairs, such as the one at the Simon intersection, and I can assure you that there are many more to come. Africa Good Morning is a current affairs program that brings you the latest from Southern Africa and beyond. News, economics, sport, weather, interviews, and so much more. For any advertising or news-related queries, contact agm at synergy.com.na. Africa Good Morning, bringing Africa to you. And now for your weekly fishing report. Now, Nolz Diedrichs caught a huge 27 kilogram cobble yo last week in Hentis Bay. Now, this cobble yo might be the biggest catch of the season thus far. Now, Vian de Clerc, who caught the moment on camera, said that he estimates Nolz was in the water for about 15 to 20 minutes. His line dropped, a fish took to the bait and swam towards the beach, he tells. Nolz gradually reeled in to tighten the line and he got that pull to set that circle hook just on the right place and he was on with another spotted gully shark it seems and it took a lot of line he said it feels like an edible now after a long wait lots of patience soft hands and a few hundred meters walking north up along the beach as spotted gully sharks do the first fin emerged out of the shallow water and it was not a shark now well done Noel Stiedrichs on a beautiful fish proud of you Vian de Klerk narrated now the fish's gills were unfortunately hurt during the ordeal but and it started bleeding so it could not be released back into the ocean so until the next one please stay tuned
Market Watch is a daily publication covering the most important market related topics. You'll find the economic indicators and company news in brief on a daily basis. Market Watch also features interesting and informative focus topics like medical, properties, and cars weekly. The ever popular classifieds, as well as tenders and vacancies, can also be found in the Market Watch, which is a part of the daily NMH newspapers, namely Republican, Al Khamaina Zeitung, and Namibian Sun, reaching audiences all over the country and possible new clients. Ongelukkig bring hierdie ons aan die einde van vandag se episode, maar jylle kan altyd gaan noer op ons webverf, dis www.irongo.com.na, dis www.irongo.com.na. Jylle kan ons ook volg op Facebook, Twitter en op Instagram, of jylle kan in contact kom met ons by 011-7040, dit is 011-7040 op by die Telegram en WhatsApp. As jylle graag met ons wil adverteer op hierdie awesome platform van ons, is 011-7040 jylle nommer om te kontak. Jylle kan ons online programme ook kyk op oneup2.com, dit is oneup2.com, of kry ons op televisie, dit is DSTV kanaal 285 en KouTV kanaal 94. So tot op die volgende keer, kyk asblief na jylle self en die mense rondom jylle, ons sien jylle weer. Bye bye.